What it do, baby? What it do? It's your boy, Quali, and it's time for another NYCFC Weekly. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> The boys in blue are on the road, this time in the nation's capital, to keep their good form against DC United. Let's start spreading the news. The City Boys are unbeaten in their last five matches after grabbing a point down in Miami on the weekend, remaining in the thick of the Eastern Conference playoff chase as they sit in eighth place. Here's how it went down. Jason for New York City, Bogdan got a foot to it and poked it wide. Bogdan racing onto this ball, caught centrally, Bogdan off the left foot, fires. Taken here by Santi Rodriguez, has a step in the 18, Rodriguez with a shot, oh he scored! Santi Rodriguez roofs it, and New York City in the 77th minute, with its playmaker extraordinaire. Gets an air under this ball. Is all the dramatic finish. A 77th minute strike from Santi Rodriguez put the visitors ahead in South Beach before a stoppage time equalizer by Miami in the 94th minute. Nick Cush's squad applied pressure all night long, firing 10 shots at the goalkeeper Drake Callender. Here's what coach Nick Cushing had to say on it. We knew coming in here that we were going to be walking down the MLS red carpet and we probably weren't going to be the invited guests. We knew we were coming up against a team in form. Okay, they lost against Houston, but ultimately they've won a lot of games, scored a lot of goals lately. And we knew we'd have to be at our best. I feel sorry for our boys tonight because we, we feel a little bit unfairly treated in the sense of this big moments in the game that never went our way. This red card, this seven minutes, this, you know, there's many, many, so many fouls in the game. I think you have to adapt in the game. I thought our guys adapted really, really well in the game. I thought they continued to play. They continued to stay in the game emotionally. I thought they kept their head. All I have to do is make sure our players stay in the game. And I thought they did that up until the last moment with the corner. And I feel for the guys tonight because, you, you know, I'm proud of them. They gave everything. But this isn't the moment to, to look at it like two points drop. It has to be the moment to look at it like one point game. It's a difficult place to go to come in. And we have to look at it like it gives us more opportunity to go into DC and get a result and that'll give us the best chance going into the last game of the season of course the three point would have gave us a bigger chance but ultimately you know we can only play the game that we delivered and ultimately it, 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 the game was made more difficult for us tonight the city boys will go down the I-95 to Chocolate City as they take on a DC United squad the two sides clashed earlier this season at Yankee Stadium, where the home team took all three points with a 3-2 victory thanks to goals by Talis Magno, Santi Rodriguez, and Thiago. DC remains in the hunt for the postseason that will see them head down to Austin before coming home to host New York. As always, MLS season pass on Apple TV is the spot to catch all of our games all season long, especially this one on Saturday at 7.30. Dolly, New York, baby.